Are you thankful you get to be Bella's mom? Yes. I wouldn't change her for the world, syndrome or not. She is who she is. And I'm thankful every single mm -mm. day that I get to be the one that gets to keep her. If somebody wants to be Bella's friend, what should they do? Play. Just play. I heard that you love trucks. Trucks are fun. Whoa! You send it flying. Whoa! Please don't kick my... Ah! Ah! You're so silly, you keep kicking my truck! Ah! Ah! She gives me hope that just there's good everywhere no matter what. And you can always find it because she she's drawn to it. Welcome to SBSK. We believe that everybody has a story that's worthy of being heard. When we listen to one another, the world becomes a closer place and we all benefit together. So without hesitation, let's meet today's friend. She has a diagnosis, but you can still see the kid. Yes, she has it. She has the label. She'll have it forever. But she's still a kid. Whatever you do, don't kick my truck! No, don't kick my truck! You're sending my truck flying! You're sending my truck flying! Please, please don't fly! So, I really hope you don't kick my truck. Whatever you do, don't kick my... Please don't kick my... I can't believe you're sending my truck flying! Is Bella any less valuable of a person if she never learns to speak? No. No, not at all. To me, she, she's my daughter. I mean, that's, that's it. I don't look at her as having anything less or anything more than any other child. She's, we treat her as a child. We treat her as a normal kid. She's, she's just my daughter, and that's it, you know? How does Bella communicate? She communicates with her actions, her sounds, like you can hear her doing, uh, her movements. She'll, she puts both of her arms up when she wants up. She'll actually tap you and get you to follow you to show you what she wants. Oh no. Oh no. Ah! Ah! Ooh, 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 I can't, uh, you can't get it if it's driving all over the place. Ha ha ha. I thought y'all missed one. Ooh, ooh. <sighs> Finally, a nice qua! <laughs> when you think about her future, what do you consider? If we're gonna be here for her whole entire life. Yeah, it's... I know I wouldn't, if I passed, I wouldn't know, I guess, but... I, I don't want to put her with somebody else that may not take care of her like we do. So I would hope that I outlived her, honestly. How often do you think about that? Two or three times a day. What is Bella's diagnosis? Cornea delaying syndrome. It's also called CDLS. It is also known as Amsterdam dwarfism. Uh, there are multiple genes that can have a change when they're made and they result in cornea delaying. Hers is on the most common gene, which is the NIPBL gene. And her specific change is unique to itself. There's no other one on documented with it, which a lot of the kids are like that. Um, they have their own changes, but for her, it's her size, her arms, her eyebrows, her lips, her hair. That is good. What about this?
Can you tell me about the backpack that's attached to Bella? Bella has a feeding tube. Um, she can eat by mouth, but she doesn't eat enough to actually sustain every day. So she gets extra food through her backpack and her tube that goes right into her stomach. She gets real food just like you and I eat, but it's blended down so she doesn't have to take it through her mouth. What is the most important thing for the world to know about your daughter? She's still a kid. It, it doesn't matter. It just absolutely does not matter. Regardless of the fact she is still a, a kid, she likes to play. She likes to play with other kids. She likes, she just wants to be accepted. <laughs> How do you know that Bella loves you? She shows it. She'll give you hugs, she'll give you kisses, she'll lick you. <laughs> she'll come to you and put her arms up and she just, she lays her head on you and it's just, she, you can feel her squeeze. And she's like, this is mine. This is my happy place. I'm having fun playing piano with you. I'm having lots of fun playing piano with you. I'm glad, I'm glad we're friends now. Thank you for giving me a nice kiss on the cheek. I'm super happy we're friends now. And I'm super glad we're playing fun piano songs together! Do you ever wonder what she's thinking? Yes. All the time. All the time. I Couldn't even tell you. Is there difficulty associated with not being able to communicate with her verbally? Yes, absolutely. It is, uh, it's frustration on our part, uh, for me anyhow. Because um, I just don't know, you know, and, and for me, like I said, it is very frustrating to not understand why she's, why she's fussing. What has been the most surprising thing about being Bella's mom? The things people say to you. People think they know exactly everything. They, everyone wants to offer advice. They have no idea what day-to-day -day life really is. Some, the little things we celebrate, they look down on because they don't see it as a big deal. And she is a kid, but some of the small milestones are huge. Her taking her first steps was amazing. And people were, oh, well, she's six, she's going to, you know, she's five or six, she's going to do that. Well, she may not. I mean, her saying mama was the greatest day of my life. Because they said she may never do it. Thank you for being my friend. I'm having a lot of fun as your friend. You're a really cool person. I like to think I make her feel safe. Why is it important for her to understand that? Because I never want her to be scared of me. I want her to know that if she's scared, she can come to me. If something upsets her, she can come to me. I want her to know that this is her safe place. That this is where she can always know that someone's going to protect her. If there's a parent of a child who wants to play with Bella, what would you say to the parent? Same thing. Come on. We'll sit all sit down on the floor and play. You know, we've we've never we've never not done that with somebody. It didn't matter who it was. We all sat down on the floor and played. You know, that's that's there's just nothing. I mean, how can someone start that conversation if they see you out in public? Exactly like that. Just I mean, just walk up to us and start having a conversation. You know, if you come to us with an open mind, or you just come to us and and are genuinely interested we have no problem having a conversation with you about any of it, you know. That's just that's just the way we are. We are those parents that, that want to be able to educate. And, and, I mean, like I said, we treat her just like any other child. So if they want to play, then we can all sit down and play. I had so much fun playing with you today, too. It was awesome! Are you tired? 
How do you feel as she just melts into you? I love it. It Good. makes me feel all warm. It makes me feel like I did something right. <laughs> I've done something right in life at some point to be blessed to have this. I don't remember what it was, but whatever it was, I did it right. <laughs> Thanks for watching SBSK. Click subscribe here to be part of our community. Then hit the notification bell below so you never miss a story. You can even meet another friend here. See you next time.